Sugar kills people. Sugar makes you fat. It's been proven. Trust us. And now we're going to make a profit off you believing that. All of these companies have lied to you about zero sugar. Coca-Cola has gone, oh, Coke Zero. Drink Coke Zero, guys. Drink Pepsi Max. They've been running ads trying to get people to switch over to their zero sugar. And it's cheaper for the company because they don't have to spend money on sugar. And they're literally putting these cancerous sweeteners in your drinks. In 50 years time, we'll find out. All of these zero sugar shills, basically. Everyone who's trying to lose weight, go with such conventional advice. If the advice was so widespread and everyone does it, then how come Australia is fatter than ever before? Like, this country has literally become super fat. This is stupid. Why are people believing this bull? Everyone's so afraid of sugar, but me as an athlete, as an ultra endurance athlete right here, I can tell you that sugar, I can cycle 100 kilometers on just sugar. And you might be thinking, what? You can cycle? Man. You have a big head. You think you can cycle 100 kilometers on just sugar? You're crazy, man. Nobody could cycle 100 kilometers on just sugar. That's so unhealthy. If you think it's impossible to fuel yourself on just sugar, I'm going to do exactly that in this video. <laughs> so, we start in the morning patting the cat. Drink the water. But here we go. This stuff makes you fat. And this is my drink bottle for today. My secondary one. This is the plain water. And this one. Oh, let's move it across. This one. Let's try not to get sugar everywhere. Let's just go. I don't measure it. I'm just gonna keep pouring it until I get sick of pouring sugar. Hang on, I could just do it like this. Because I don't get wasted sugar. Just do something like that. the lid's on properly. Let's go. Yeah, there we go. Boom. All right, sugar. Let's uh, just, like, eat some of the grains there. Very sweet. I reckon I can add way more sugar. There we go. It's like a significant portion. You can see it's like up to that and then I fill with water for the rest so like that is the line water just keep refilling it to dilute it and eventually we'll get through all of that sugar today all of it so let's do like just fill it up with some water Here's the trick. Let's go. Boom. That is carbs. That is a pre-workout right there. Boom. Sugar. Sugar and water. Boom. Oh no, sugar makes me fat. Am I fucking fat? No. I'm an ultra endurance athlete. get out onto the road, onto the Crafers bikeway. The first climb of many on this trip. Luckily, a lot of the climbing is just very, very small. There's no big climbs after this. 
It's mainly just little climbs, but so, so downhill. It was only like 900 meters of elevation gain across the 80 kilometers to Gulwa, I believe, or even the 100 kilometers for the full ride I did, which was like an extra 20 Ks to Victor Harbor. This is like all of the roads you see on GCN. Just like nicely shaded, lots of trees. Allgate Valley Road. What have I been doing? This is the best road in the hills. From the shoulder of the road, there's some cars, just a full line of cars going one, two, three, four, five, six. And then there was a tail car, a chase car. There was a lead car at the front. So total of eight cars in this, basically this um, motorcade, this convoy. It was very interesting because such random vehicles. They've all got numbers on them. I w wonder what's going on. That was the lead car. And then this there a car at the end, at the back. Let's see. Chase car, there. What's going on? What is this, man? You wonder. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. kilometers and look where it is same range of Grand Island coming into Victor Harbour I'm going to do 100 kilometers on just like a kilogram bag of sugar compare that to the price of an efficient car Let's just say 12 litres, let's say 6 litres, 100, let's say 7 actually. So 14 plus, I'm doing mental maths right now. So you can just, let's say 17 and a half litres at $2 a litre. How much is that for 250 kilometres? $2 a litre. All right, so 17 and a half times 2. Fuck, I haven't done math. It's more than $30, right? That's all I... <laughs> More than $30, it's $35. There we go, $35. Or you can buy like a one kilogram bag of sugar from Woolworths. Let's find out how much that costs. I don't know the exact price. Here we go. Two, two bucks. Oh, even better. CSR sells $1.70 for a kilogram of sugar. Dirt cheap, absolute dirt cheap. 17 cents for 100 grams, and 100 grams is a lot of fuel. So $1.70, or you can pay $35, man. Which would you rather? $1.70, or like 17 times that amount. It's 17 times cheaper to burn sugar, carbohydrate, to get to your destination if you need to go to melbourne for example and you've got a bit of time on your hands and you want to save money i i think you'd rather fuel with sugar for that 700 k's that's going to cost you like a hundred dollars of petrol or more 120 let's say to say 120 versus probably five bucks of sugar 120 First five bucks, it's a no-brainer. Next time someone hands me a Pepsi Max, I'll just say no thanks. And I'll just go to Woolworths and I'll buy a bag of sugar. That's my lunch. Eat it up. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.